Here is the recap of the first season of One Piece. In the fantasy world of this universe, the planet is almost completely covered by water. People who love freedom and adventure become pirates, but they are always opposed by the Marines. One day, the government catches one of the most famous pirates named Galdi Roger and is about to execute him. Before he dies, he informs the people that he has hidden countless treasures somewhere in the ocean. After that, a new era of pirates began, wanting to get the One Piece. The main character is a boy named Monkey Luffy. He lives on an island where pirates often come, but they are friendly and protect the locals from the bandits. Luffy dreams of becoming a pirate, and time after time asks Captain Shanks to take him along. However, the man does not want to put the little boy in danger. One day the hero finds a strange fruit in the pirate's treasures and eats it. After that he acquires the ability to become rubber. It turns out that in this world there are devil fruit, giving people unique abilities, but you have to pay for it. Now the person who ate the fruit will never be able to swim, and the sea water takes away his strength. Meanwhile, the village where the hero lives is attacked by bandits, but Shanks pirates manage to defeat them without any problems. Luffy is captured by the bandit leader, and Shanks goes to rescue him. At that moment, the boat is attacked by a giant sea monster. The man manages to stop it, but loses his arm. Shanks gives Luffy his straw hat and sails away. The hero promises that sooner or later he will become the Pirate King and find one piece of Galdi Roger. After a few years, the grown-up hero goes on his own adventure, but his boat starts to sink and he sneaks onto Captain Alvita's pirate ship. There he meets a guy named Kobe, who got here by accident and is a slave here. His dream is to become a Marine, and Luffy supports his ambition. The hero fights Alvita and defeats her, after which they take a boat to the nearest island. It turns out that there is a base of marines there, and Kobe decides to stay to enlist. While they are sitting at the bar, a green-haired stranger walks in and stands up for a girl who was being bullied by one of the marines. A fight ensues, but although the man wields a sword, he doesn't kill anyone. Later he is taken to the captain of the marine, Morgan, and it turns out that one of the sailors beaten in the bar was his son Helmeppo. We learn that the green-haired boy's name is Zoro, and he is a pirate hunter but Morgan decides to punish him and sends him to hang in the sun for a week. We are also shown Zoro's past. As a kid, he wanted to be the strongest swordsman, but he was always beaten by his friend and they promised each other that they would keep going after their dreams no matter what the cost. One day, the girl dies and he takes her sword to himself to still continue on the path of becoming the best swordsman together. Meanwhile, Luffy is going to steal a map from Captain Morgan's office. With this map, he will be able to overcome the so-called Grand Line, which I'll talk about later. Along the way, he frees Zoro and offers him to join his crew, but Zoro is reluctant to join him. Soon, Luffy meets a girl named Nami in a marine uniform, but realizes she's a thief who also snuck into fleet headquarters to get a map. Together, they manage to retrieve the safe where it lies but they are surrounded by marines. The heroes begin to fight and are joined by Zoro. Eventually, they defeat Morgan, and the trio escape from the island on Nami's boat. Soon, Vice Admiral Garp arrives at the base. He learns that Captain Morgan missed the pirate who stole the map, and also realizes that the local marines are corrupt and punishes the officers. He then takes the cadets, including Kobe and Helmeppo, with him and sets off after Luffy. The three heroes open the safe with the map of the Grand Line, and Nami tells them how the world works. On the globe, apart from a huge number of small islands, there is only one thin continent that circles the globe from north to south, and along the equator runs the so-called Grand Line, a dangerous current inhabited by giant sea monsters and where ordinary people are afraid to sail. Only brave pirates go there, as it is rumored that at the end of the Grand Line is the One Piece. So the long continent and the equator divide the two oceans into four pots, which are called North, East, West, and South Blue. Suddenly a gas bomb explodes on the hero's ship, and the heroes start to lose consciousness, but Luffy manages to swallow the map. The team comes to their senses on the stage of the circus, where they meet the pirates of the clown buggy, but instead of the audience sit chained people from the local village, who are obliged to applaud the kidnappers all day and night. Buggy reveals that he's been planning to steal the Grand Line map from the Marines for a long time, but the heroes beat him to it. Luffy has no intention of giving up the map, 
but it turns out that the clown is not as simple as he seems. He also ate the devil fruit. Now the pirate can separate any part of his body and control it at will. Eventually, the heroes manage to defeat him. They free the shackled people, after which they head to the next island. Soon it turns out that the hero's boat will not last long. They arrive on an island famous for its ships and meet Yusuf, a local boy who is very cowardly, but honest and willing to do anything for his friends. He takes the heroes to the owner of the shipyard, with whom he has been friends since childhood, and Luffy asks her to give him the ship, which he saw on the wharf. Soon it turns out that the butler and the servants are pirates who are planning to kill the shipyard owner and take her money. The heroes stop them, for which the girl gives them a ship. Luffy offers Yusup to become a member of their team, and he agrees. After that, the four go to sea. Meanwhile, the Marines catches up with the hero's new ship, and we learn that Vice Admiral Garp is Luffy's grandfather. The old man demands that they surrender and throws a cannonball at them, but Luffy deflects it and breaks the mast of the Marines. After that, the Straw Hat pirate crew manages to escape. Soon the heroes meet the ship's restaurant Barati and decide to grab a bite to eat. They meet a chef named Sanji, who turns out to be a good fighter. He tells Luffy that he has wanted to be a chef since he was a kid, and his dream is to find a place called All Blue where all the ingredients in the world exist. When he was a kid he was taken under his wing by Zeph the pirate chef and has been working for him ever since. Sanji can't leave his mentor, but the chef insists that he go after his dream. Meanwhile, Vice Admiral Garb contacts Mihawk via Den 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 Mushi, a sort of local radio, and asks him to find his grandson. Kobe overhears this conversation and learns from Hel Meppo that Mihawk is one of the seven warlords of the sea. Roughly speaking, they are pirates in the service of the government. They perform dirty deeds for the government, and in return they can continue to pirate with impunity. Kobe argues to Garp that such a thing does not fit his idea of justice, to which the old man replies, The world is a much more complicated place than described in the books, so sometimes even the Marines have to get their hands dirty. Soon Mihawk finds the Straw Hat crew. Zoro recognizes him, and he turns out to be the strongest swordsman in the world. As the hero has a dream to take his place, he challenges him to a duel. Mihawk turns out to be much stronger than Zoro and seriously wounds the guy, but he decides not to take Luffy at Garp's order, as he sees a new generation of pirates in his crew and thinks they have a future. Chef and Sanji tend to Zoro's runes, but there's a chance he won't survive, however Luffy has faith in his friend. Suddenly, fishmen pirates appear on Barardi. Their leader Arlong reports that he is looking for Luffy. He finds him with the help of Buggy the Clown's head, whose ear has been with the guy in the straw hat all along. The hero fights the villain, but loses. Afterward, it turns out that Nami works for him and serves on his crew. She takes the Grand Line map and leaves the restaurant ship with the pirates. Luffy is upset as one member of his crew has left them and another is on the verge of death. Zoro soon comes to his senses and promises that he will never lose a fight again and will always be loyal to the hero. Sanji, the cook, joins the Straw Hat Pirates and Luffy announces that he is going to go to Arlong. The hero is intent on getting Nami back, as he thinks she doesn't really want to be there. The others ask how Luffy will find the fish people. He reveals that he managed to steal Buggy's head from Arlong, and he knows where his headquarters is. We learn about Nami's past. One day her village was attacked by Arlong pirates. They killed her mother and forced the villagers to pay huge sums of money every month or they would kill everyone. A brave girl, Nami, went to the fish people and proposed a trade. 100 million belly, that's the name of local currency, in exchange for the freedom of the village. She promises to earn this money in a few years while working for Arlong as a cartographer. After eight years, she has accumulated the money and reported it to the pirate. However, the Arlong stole all her savings and attacked her village again as a terror. At this time, the Straw Hat pirates arrive on the island and learn Nami's story. Luffy finds the crying girl and she asks him for help. After that, the entire crew heads off to Arlong. Each of the heroes contributes to this battle. Even the cowardly Yusuf manages to defeat one of the fishmen. Eventually, Luffy defeats Arlong and destroys everything he has spent so long creating. 
Meanwhile, Buggy the Clown finds his body and escapes. In the evening, the locals honor the Straw Hat crew as heroes, but suddenly Garp appears. He demands that Luffy surrender and go to the Marines like the old man always wanted, or else he'll arrest the boy and his friends. However, the hero is not going to give up his dream, and Garp gives up. He leaves, the Straw Hat pirates board a ship and head for the Red Line, the first obstacle on the way to the One Piece. At this time, Garp decides to take on Kobe and Hell Mepo's training. Buggy teams up with Alvita with the intention of killing Monkini Luffy. Mihawk meets with Shanks and tells him about the Straw Hat Pirates, to which the man is incredibly pleased. Meanwhile, we are shown a certain man burning a cigarette on a flyer about a hero wanted, the sum for the capture of which is 30 million bellies. This is the end of the first season. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the like button. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.